hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything in this video is a lash so our mind's mom did a, a recent sit down um a hot seat with our mind and i just want to say with everything that's been going on in the media with our mind and with these vlogs and stuff like that it was just so beautiful to see him in his comfort zone and him being able to just release and say how he feels and i'm just gonna say the questions that his mom was asking him from the fans they were questions that has been everyone's been wanting to know she asked him about his relationship with mondrian his relationship with trey how he's doing mentally if he wanted more children um has he given up on love just so just so much she asked him and it's just like things that people and his fans have been wanting to know but there's no better way than your mom asking you those questions because i feel like he gave her genuine answers and the vibe was genuine and i just want to say shout out to our mind's mom because the level of uh comfort that our mind has with his mom is beautiful even though it may be uncomfortable to some parents to have to to ask their child sexual questions or questions that we probably don't really want to know the answer to i feel like your kids need to be comfortable with being able to talk about things like that with their parents and it not be looked upon like frowned upon like it, it like it's beautiful you should be able to have open dialogue with your kids no matter what age they are you should be able to have that open dialogue and i think it's really beautiful to see that our mind has that open dialogue with his mother I, I mean it's top tier for me i love that and i hope when my sons get that age that they are able to express anything they want to express with me i'm able to ask them what i feel like i want to ask them and get a genuine response to where they don't feel guarded or closed off and so that was just really beautiful but you know some of the questions she asked him was like is has he given up on love and he said his answer was yes and she was like no 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 and i feel like this is just my opinion i feel like armand he he just got out of relationship and if you ask anybody if i just got out of relationship with the person i was in love with and somebody and it didn't work out and somebody asked me are you you know have you given up on love i'm gonna be like yeah and that in this moment yeah for this time, yeah, I've given up on love. Like, I'm doing what I do. I'm doing my music. I'm taking care of my child. Like, I, I don't have time for that. So I kind of seen, uh, I kind of felt those vibes from our man. Like, yeah, but not really like, I don't want love again. But right now, yeah, I've given up on love. Because right now, this is our man. This is my time. Our man's time. Like, I'm not really trying to do all of that. I'm really not looking for love. I'm really not trying to find love. I'm trying to focus on my music, my kid, and what our mind got going on. He just got out of a relationship. Like, that's a natural response. Getting out of a relationship with someone that you love and someone asking you, have you given up on love? Yeah, you can. If some people would response would probably be like, no, because, you know, but he was honest. He was like, yeah, because guess what? Sometimes when you get out of a relationship, like, you be feeling like F love. And what's wrong with that? of course his answer is going to change he's not going to always feel that way but for now he feels that way and that that's normal to me she also said that she really asked him about the uh deleting his tweets and i like that she said yeah like why do you delete your tweets why won't you just leave it and stand on it and our mom was like because like i feel like I feel like Arman was basically saying because these vlogs be trying to paint me the way they want to paint me. So when I, I, I feel like I can say something on my Twitter. That's what I want to do. And I want to delete the tweets. Like, what's wrong with that? I feel like, you know, they say things and they run with it and be on the shade room and here and there. And he feel like his when he posts something, he know it'll get picked up. But it's basically I got out of it. It's him defending himself and letting people know, like, I ain't going for none of that. And like you said, and I get what everybody was saying, you know, if you poke somebody for so long and they bite back, are they really wrong? No, they're not wrong. We're all humans. We all tend to go off sometimes. But sometimes, y'all, when you got a lot to lose and you work hard, you know, people can come. You see how it's so easy to get canceled, so easy for stuff to be taken away from you and stuff like that. I feel like it's just, I feel like it's just the right thing to do 
as his fan is just wanting him to really just rise above it all. Because the because nowadays, you know, someone saying you saying, you know, calling them big or talking about their sexuality or the way they look and stuff, they'll try to take that and try to cancel you for it. So my way is just almost like our mind rise above it, ignore it. You are you are reaching the height of your career right now. It's just not worth it. That's just my opinion, but I get what you guys are saying. Sometimes, sometimes you you don't want to hear that. Sometimes you just feel like I want to defend myself and say what I want to say, and I get that. But it's just remember it. Just remember what day and time we in and how easy it is to get canceled. You know. So as his fan, I'm gonna be like, no, just. Just rise rise above it all, and then um his mom asked also asked him about his relationship with Mandran. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Armand he said it like a man. Mandran is a grown man. He is flying out here. He has a girlfriend. He just he moved in with his girlfriend. He doing grown man things, handling his business. And when you become men, you can't hang together every day. Mandran was ready to fly. Mandran got to a place in his life where. All his homies and all his friends were doing things in their career. And Mundran had to find himself and find what makes Mundran happy and what direction he's going to go in life. And like Armand said, that's still bro. He's just a grown man and he's just making grown man moves. We, He still talks to him. Just because we don't see things on social media doesn't mean there's been a falling out or they're not friends. Just like him and Trey. He said, I don't have to speak on my relationship with Trey. I was just, I just seen Trey. We was just playing the game the other day. He up the street. This is my brother. This is not my friend. This is my family. I will, he will always be my family. This is my brother. I will see him all the time. I felt like, duh, that, that should click into everyone. That is his family. That's his brother. He, there's certain things you don't have to speak on. And then with the Mundurin situation, I even got that our, um, Mundurin for a long time had ventured out. He had got his own YouTube. He had started doing things by himself. And I was very proud that Mundurin got into that, that place. And I feel like our man is proud too. And they're just letting Mundurin do what he do. And they're doing what they do. They're grown men. And when you're handling business, I'm going to be over here. You're going to be over there. What's wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that. That Nothing. And so I respect, respectfully say good job, Armand, because that's that's what it is. And you he didn't even really have to explain that. Because sometimes people will want to say, oh, what Mundry on that? Like it's an issue. It's not even an issue. Right? And um, he said that he likes being in L.A. That's where his music is. And... Oh, they also, a fan also asked, like, um, will you be willing to go to therapy? He said he's been to therapy. He's not against it, but he kind of wanted to, I felt like he kind of wanted to handle his stuff on his own. But he says right now he, he's talking to someone and he feels like he's in a good place mentally. They also asked him, did he see him taking a, would he take a break from social media? He said no. Like, and I get what he's mean by no, no. Why would he let anyone control his narrative well why would he run away from social media he's strong enough to rise above it all just because it's a place that you feel is causing me pain and causing me to you know causing me anxiety or it's not he said he's in a good place he's not gonna let anybody run him off the internet you know and i get that our mind started on youtube he's the internet sensation why would he take a break he don't have to do that you, just because you feel like it may be hard for him to be on the internet, if he's mentally says he's in a good place and he feels like this is a place he'll never leave, it's his choice to make. It's not anyone's choice to make, but our mind's choice to make. And I really respect that. And she also asked him, would he date BBW, BBW girls? And he was like, yes, he loved big women. And I felt like he was real genuine when he said, like, he just don't like lighter skinned women. He like all women. And I know it was an issue when people was like, I don't think he really liked Regine because she was brown skinned. No, I don't get those vibes from Armand. Armand like whatever he likes. I didn't I didn't see that. I feel like he was very attracted to her. And I feel like I hate when people say things like that. The colorism thing, it really bothers me because there's so many brown skinned women that are just so gorgeous and so beautiful. So, so gorgeous just because you're lighter skin doesn't make you more beautiful at all because like it doesn't so you know why would he why would y'all feel like he likes one over the other because his child's mother is this way no and i also want to say um 
Yeah, I, I love, a lot of people was like, dang, she really asked him personal questions about like what he like to give or receive and stuff like that. That's his mom. She can ask him what she wants in the context. She can ask him, you may not do it to your kid. I don't, may not never do it to my sons, but I would hope my sons feel comfortable with me asking them whatever I want to ask them and not feel ashamed to answer it is what I'm saying. But I, I thought it, that's the beauty in him and his mom's relationship is that she's not afraid to go there with Armand and Armand is not afraid to go there with her. And the relationship as mother and son is still respected. Um, but y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comment section what y'all think down below.